my marriage is affected tremendously. Um, I'm very lucky because my wife met me while I was a musician on the road. And uh, so she understands that, you know, what I do. You know, I left the house at 5.30 today and uh, I saw my wife for five minutes before I left and I kissed her and my son goodbye. Um, I don't get to tuck him into bed tonight. I don't, you know, I don't get to play with him tonight. And I won't get home till around 3.30 or 4 this morning. So, you know, and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna have to sleep and I'll sleep till about eight and I'll get up and she'll be gone and the baby will be gone and then you know, I'm going to go to school all day and then they'll get home for another 20 minutes and, you know, around five and I'm gone again. So on these weekends that are real long and drawn out, you know, spending time with my family, I just don't get to do it. If I'm up, you know, 17 hours, I might only sleep four hours so I can spend time with my family. You know, he's doing what he wants to do, what he likes, and uh, we've always supported that. We've always been behind it. So, uh, you know, his success is our success. I think it's just normal. Everything's normal if he were you know, off to college, if he's traveling. He's just, it's the same, I think the same relationship with him, no matter what he's doing, really. I like that he has a busy schedule, I have a busy schedule, and we know any time, any free time that we have, we spend with each other usually. So, but you know, we've kind of noticed that we have too much free time, we spend too much time together, and then we start, you know, bickering. Bickering, yeah, that'll be the appropriate word we'll use. We start bickering and such. Jacob's quit like three jobs to play shows and to go out of town and you know we've had jobs where we had to be like it's either we're gonna play this show or we're gonna quit. I encourage uh, every everyone that really wants to get into the to uh, music and be serious about it to get to know the industry and get to know the the, the business part of it as well uh, because the music is great you can write songs all the time but to be able to um, get the gigs and all that stuff. You have to market yourself and you have to be a little bit business savvy. There's no one way to make it or whatever. You know, it's just like play your music and do your own thing. You know, there's not like everybody would be like, oh, well, you gotta go do this and uh, that's how you make it or do this and that's how you make it. You just gotta do everything you can while you can do it. There was something early on where I told my dad this is what I wanted to do and, and, uh, and he said set your price now and if it ever becomes too expensive you can get out. And so, um, you know, I mean I'm 23, I'm getting ready to turn 24 in December and I, I figure, you know, with the degree and everything I've got my entire life to be you know, the corporate suit kind of person, so figure I'll enjoy it now while I, my hair is still in my head and not on the shower floor. You know, when you're in a band, you don't really have a life, and you have to like quit your job and stuff, and uh, you just want to, you just want to live. You want to feel alive on the road, and it's just really hard, hard to. You know, I invented the L chord. 
I've got something. There you go. You can answer again. I don't really have an answer to that question. Can you <laughs> repeat the question, <laughs> please? You already answered it, Michael. Oh. Yeah, so that's pretty much a typical day for a musician. <laughs>